Clearly, a gender amnesia had settled over American history. But all of this ended in 1980. Graduate history programs opened their doors to women in the 60s and 70s. There was a new emphasis on history from the bottom up that made social history a legitimate field. And along with African American history, women's history began to blossom. Today, I'm happy to say, bookshelves in libraries and scholarly archives groan under the weight of books on women's experiences in our national past. And some of the best of these studies focus on women in the American Revolution. Scholars like Mary Beth Norton and Linda Kerber, Holly Mayer and Rosemary Zagari, <coughs> Alfred Young and Charles Akers, Ray Raphael and Ron Hoffman, Patricia Brady and Marla Miller run right out and get all their books. Just to name a few, have revised and greatly expanded our understanding of the American Revolution by the simple act of adding women to the canvas of the struggle for American independence. Tonight, I want to share with you only a sampling of the fruits of this labor. 